Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use arrays, just very simple um, we're, arrays. We're not going to get into any um, rectangular or any uh, arrays like that, just the very simple types. Uh, there are a lot of cool uses for them, um, very good with if you're dealing with numbers and calculations. Uh, so we're, I'm going to go ahead and open up the array tutorial thing. It's, this is going to be a console application just for to make it um, work a lot easier and um, how you create an array you have to declare it you have to int and then uh, square brackets array you can also do like arrays of strings but um, int arrays are basically the simplest ones we're gonna name an array and we're gonna do new int bracket and then we basically have to say like what's the amount of space in the arrays how would you say it so I'm just gonna do 13 and let's put a semicolon there and let's go ahead and step into this, see what it looks like. Press the F10 and F10 again. And you see, I'm going to open up this array. And you see that 0 through 12, since we said it was 13, so that's 13 numbers. Um, those are kind of like the placeholders, how, I guess how you'd say it. And then you can put numbers in each of these uh, placeholders. And if it's a string array, you can put um, strings in there. So you can kind of begin to uh, think of all the uses that this could possibly have. So let's get rid of this. And let's go ahead and create this little project. I kind of did it beforehand. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calculating like a roll of a die, like a dice you use in gambling or anything like that. We're going to do two different uh, random dice rolls and we're going to calculate them together and see how many times um, a number shows up if we do it say like 50,000 times. So let's go ahead and use the random thing that C Sharp already has in here. We're going to name the first one dice1 and then just equals new random open close parentheses. Let's do random dice2 for the second dice equals new random and let's go ahead and create an int i equals zero so I'm using this later and then in order to um, continue this 50,000 times to roll the die we're gonna do a while statement while i is less than 50,000 and then we're gonna do the uh, roll for the first die so we're gonna do actually we actually don't need to die because we can just do it with the same uh, random thing. We're going to do int roll one equals dice one dot next and then we have to give it um, the max and min value the min being one max being seven so this will go from one to six since that seven is non-inclusive and then we're going to do int roll two equals dice one I don't know why I said dice, it should be die. Next, and then just same thing, 1, 7. And this will actually create two different numbers. So roll 1 and roll 2 will be two different numbers. And then we're just going to do the sum. And sum equals roll 1 plus roll 2. Very simple. And what we're going to do is um, the sum is going to be a number from uh, 2 to 12. So what we want to do, and see that's why I did 13 because that goes from 0 to 12. Um, what I want to do is whenever uh, we roll a specific number, I want it to add 1. Like, um, I'll show you. So whenever, say, like 3 is rolled, I want, instead of it 0, I want it 1 to be added to it. So what we do is we'll do our array array and then we have to do the index of the array we want to call and that's going to be sum so whatever it rolls we're going to be accessing what's ever in sum and what we're basically going to do is plus plus so it's going to add one to whatever the array sum is and you can also do just for like general arrays you can set this equal to a number you can set it equal to two and it's basically the same thing but this is just a lot cooler so just do plus plus and then let's also do i plus plus just so it'll do it fifty thousand times 
And let's go ahead. I guess we don't really need anything else. I'm just going to do this just to stop it. Um, actually, eh, we'll write the array later. Or maybe I won't do that. But uh, let's put a breakpoint here just so we can see what's left in the array. All right, that was pretty fast. Let's go ahead and take a look at our array here and see it just added every single time it rolled that number it added one so we see that obviously seven which is the most rolled number um, is that and then the least ones two and twelve so that's just a very simple way to use an array um, there are many 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 more uses of it but um, just a cool one I found um, this is uh, Quackware, if you have any more tutorials you'd like to see from me, make sure to leave a comment or head over to my forums, which is in the description. Um, please subscribe to all my videos. I'll be making more tutorials. Uh, this is Quackware signing out.